Hey guys, welcome to Solo React Talk. Today, I'm, or oh, should I say tonight, I, I'm going to be reacting to a video called um, How the Universe is Bigger Than You Think. The universe is way bigger than you think. All right, let's start. This is a real-life lore video made possible by Squarespace. Make your next move with a beautiful website from Squarespace. This is Earth. You live here on this planet somewhere, and everything that you've ever known is located right here. But just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Let's start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest cosmic neighbor, the moon. You may think that the moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies, but in reality the moon isn't this close to our planet, it's actually about this far away. 384,400 kilometers away from you right now on average. You could fit 30 entire Earths in between this distance, and if you somehow were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days to drive the entire distance. Despite this incredible distance, however, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing the furthest away that any individual human has ever been away from the Earth, and one of humanity's greatest achievements. This is what the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there with them, and if you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would take a message about two and a half seconds to travel between you and them since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at. This is a photo that was taken on Mars, and that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. On average, Mars is an incredible 225 million kilometers away from Earth, but that distance can be as high as 401 million kilometers. That means that whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon were. In addition, the time delay for sending a message from Mars back to Earth isn't just two and a half seconds, it's actually more like 20 minutes each direction which would render instant communication in the event of an emergency impossible. When we zoom out even further away, we can find the Voyager 1 space probe, which is the furthest away man-made object from Earth. It is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth, AU meaning astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which means that Voyager 1 is 138 times further away from us than the Sun is. At some point on its long voyage, Voyager 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. It may not look like much at first, but in my opinion, this is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. This tiny, pale blue dot is Earth, and I don't think that anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, If you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. The aggregate of all our joys and sufferings. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and every forager. Every hero and coward. Every creator and destroyer of civilizations. Every king and every peasant. Every young couple in love. Every hopeful child. Every mother and every father. Every inventor and explorer. Every teacher of morals every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Voyager 1 is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. Once we go beyond the solar system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from us. 
To put that into perspective, if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. In other words, if you drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over six times longer than the entire age of the universe is just to finally get there, and it wouldn't even exist still when you arrived. When we zoom out even further, we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy, inside of which Earth is located right here. This yellow dot is the furthest extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. There are over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region right here. But even this massive galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further and we arrive at the local group of galaxies, a collection of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 million light years across. But zooming out even further and we can see the Virgo supercluster, of which the local group here is just a tiny segment of. There are at least 100 other groups of galaxies just like our own local group inside of here, and the distance from one side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years. But even the massive Virgo supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster, an enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. The distance from one side to the other is 520 million light years, but from even there we can zoom out all the way to the entire observable universe and see that even the titanic Laniakea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant part of everything. This is the observable universe, and it contains everything that we know of. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies, which together contain more stars than there are grains of sand on the entire Earth. The distance from Earth to any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years, which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years across. What's perhaps even more interesting, however, is what actually lies beyond the observable universe. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever imagine. We simply don't know what else is out there, because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth, and the light from some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, that means that the light from these places will never, in an infinite amount of time, reach Earth. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever see. So, it is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed by Dr. Alan Guth, if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light, then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable universe. That number for reference looks like this, with this many zeros. Let this number sink in for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see, was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. Imagine a light bulb in the center of Pluto, but we inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it, and that's a similar situation to this. We are all so unbelievably small, but you shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. 
This video was made possible by... Well, guys, even with our most advanced technology, it would still take us eons to get to the closest star in our local group alone. Just our local group, it will still take us many years to get there. Now, just imagine, you know, traveling across the galaxy, <laughs> traveling to another galaxy, traveling to the local group, you know, of our galaxy. And then even further than that, uh, it's crazy. That's why we're going to need like wormhole technology or like, I don't know, some sort of jump drive system that can teleport us from one point to the next. Uh, without any complications, without any time delay or time dilation, you know. Ugh, really, the universe is so big. And also, you know, it's healthy not to think about it too much because of the immensity of it, you know, of its existence. You know, sometimes, you, you know, it, it, for your own mental sanity's sake, you shouldn't actually think about it too much. Um, you could rather just focus on what your, uh, yeah, you can rather focus on how far your eyes can see. <laughs> um, you'll be happy with life, you know. For those who want to uh, think about things that are so extremely gargantuan, you know, they are used to it. They, they train themselves, they know the mathematics, they enjoy their work. But for many of us, you know, we're okay with what we have. We're okay with as far as we can see. We don't really have to go so far into the observable and even the, ob uh, the un unobservable universe. So, yeah, some of the things that he was talking about in this video, I already know because I'm a bit of a sci-fi uh, astronomer. Uh, astronomy, sorry, kind of geek kind of person. So I know these kind of stuff. Uh, and I watch a lot of space documentaries. So this one is, I'm just adding this to my list as well. And yeah, I don't, I don't think we should strive to head for Mars. I think we have explored Mars enough. I think it's time we head to Titan or Europa in uh, the Jupiter system, moon systems, and Titan in the Saturn moon systems. Um, Titan, I mean, yeah, Titan in the Saturn moon systems. And I think we should focus more on space infrastructure, you know, so that maybe not my generation, maybe not the next generation, but the generation after their generation be able to further explore the solar system and i don't know about leaving the solar system yet but you know if we create those jump drives as i was talking about then it's possible but but until then you know let's invest in that kind of infrastructure so that we can have future generations uh, explore and exploit the entire solar system of its resources and you know maybe earth will be a bit more peaceful and they can travel and see things that we could only see in pictures. Yeah, I think that would be something very nice. So for the rest of the universe, it's interesting to see. It's interesting to read about and to hear about, but we can't really reach that far yet. You know, it's beyond our capability, even our imagination to think of the immensity, the distance, you know, of light years. Uh, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Okay, guys, uh, if you like the video, you can give me a like, you can comment, you can subscribe to my channel. You can also click on the notification bell if you want to be up to date with my latest videos. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.